Hello, friends, and welcome to the first page, hosted by T.S. Russell and Bartholomew Bear. Today, we'll be reading the first page of Fantasties by George MacDonald. Fantasties, a fairy romance. Chapter 1 begins with a passage from Alastor by Shelley. A spirit, the undulating woods in silent well, and rippling rivulet and evening gloom, now deepening the dark shades for speech assuming, held commune with him as if he and it were all that was. I awoke one morning with the usual perplexity of mind which accompanies the return of consciousness. As I lay and looked through the eastern window of my room, a faint streak of peach color, dividing a cloud that just rose above the low swell of the horizon, announced the approach of the sun. As my thoughts, which a deep and apparently dreamless sleep had dissolved, began again to assume crystalline forms, the strange events of the foregoing night presented themselves anew to my wondrous consciousness. The day before had been my one and twentieth birthday. Among other ceremonies investing me with my legal rights, the keys of an old secretary, in which my father had kept his private papers, had been delivered up to me. As soon as I was left alone, I ordered lights in the chamber where the secretary stood, the first lights that had been there for many a year, for, since my father's death, the room had been left undisturbed. But, as if the darkness had been too long an inmate to be easily expelled, and had dyed with blackness the walls to which, bat-like, it had clung, these tapers served but ill to light up the gloomy hangings, and seemed to throw yet darker shadows into the hollows of the deep-wrought cornice. All the further portions of the room lay shrouded in a mystery, whose deepest folds were gathered around the dark oak cabinet, which I now approached with a strange mingling of reverence and curiosity. Perhaps, like a geologist, I was about to turn up to the light some of the buried strata of the world, with its fossil remains charred by passion and petrified by tears. Perhaps I was to learn how my father, whose personal history was unknown to me, had woven his web of story, how he had found the world, and how the world had left him. Perhaps I was to find only the records of lands and monies, how gotten and how secured, coming down from strange men, and through troublous times, to me, who knew little or nothing of them all. 